Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Hillbilly Wine 101 and tonight I'm trying something different, I'm actually holding my camera I don't know, I thought I'd do something different So what I'm going to be doing tonight is, let's see if we can do, get this on here Look at that, Casio del Diablo Sauvignon Blanc Alright, Reserva uh, It's from Chile Chile Nine dollars and forty-nine cents. Um, Thirteen percent uh, ABV. So um, Sauvignon Blanc is originally um, from France, and if you get a Bordeaux from France, you know what that is. It's generally a uh, a mix of um, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot, maybe uh, Cab Franc and um, Petit Syrah, Petit. Anyway, some other. It's a nice blend uh, from a region of France, but if you get a white Bordeaux, it's probably or it definitely is uh, right here, the Sauvignon Blanc, and this is uh, 2013 by the way. So it grows well in uh, Chile. I did one not too long ago from Marlboro, New Zealand, and that's like their signature uh, wine now. And 85% of the wine that they uh, uh, produce, or at least that, that's planted acreage-wise, is uh, Sauvignon Blanc. Um, some cool facts. Uh, this is one of the grapes, one of three grapes that they use to make sauterne out of, that they let get the noble rot on it and um, shrink up and get real uh, concentrated sugars and changes the flavor and they make sauterne. I'm a big fan of sauterne. So this is one of the grapes they make out of it. Um, Polyfume, if you see that, a French wine, that's uh, this grape here that's uh, you know going to be Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, and a cool little thing, Robin Mandavi, who I've said this on several uh, videos, I actually met him, uh, the original Robert Mandavi, but he, uh, Poly Fume, is the French, um, you know, version of this. So he wanted to sell this at a time in America. He was a pioneer in a lot of ways on a lot of things, and um, uh, Sauvignon Blanc wasn't uh, selling so well, so um, he came up with... Uh, Fume, Poly Fume, Fume Blanc, to make it sound more French. And um, it's just a made up word that he made up. Uh, generally, it means uh, a lot of times you see that, that the wine has been oak aged, but there's no rule to that. That's just a general rule of thumb. Um, this wine goes good with salads, uh, Asian dishes, a uh, little bit spicy Asian. If you don't like, like a sweeter wine like um, Riesling, you can use this. Uh, seafood, salads, asparagus, um, Brussels sprouts, I guess all energy salad type stuff. So, here it is. It's, um, oh, pale yellow with, I'd say, putting it up against some white here, maybe just the lightest greenish hue to it. Um, these are fresh, and, and um, this was a screw cap, uh, but anyway, it's fresh and uh, acidic probably that's what they usually are um, uh, this one's from Chile so what's fun my last one I did was from uh, New Zealand it's fun to get different ones from different regions um, so let's see what we have here I just love the smell of it I really do just reminds me of the spring and summer you know get this chilled hmm. well It smells like some type of plant material. <laughs> whether you want to call it wet grass, whether you want to call it kind of a mm, mm, hay, wouldn't say wet, not because it's not stinky, but a, a wet grass, maybe a nice hay. Um, mm, it seems like I smell. vegetative and um, I'm gonna say apples I want to say apples a lot of times people say it smells like cat pee and different things um, I, I'm not smelling that I'm not smelling any off-putting uh, smell whatsoever just smells good uh, the vegetative and the uh, apples mixed together smells really good mmm Nice acid, nice and refreshing, nice and clean. 
nice light watery mouthfeel, uh, not heavy like milk or anything like that. A little, um, what I would imagine, flint, uh, stone, uh, minerals, if you ever had a vitamin, you know, with the minerals in it, or if you had any kind of drink that you took minerals, uh, chelated minerals or anything, it kind of tastes like that, um, with a little, with the nice acid, uh, almost a sweetish like a sweet taste but not not it's not it's a dry it's a dry wine but it it just has a, a pleasant kind of a it's not like a stingy puckery it's, it's more of almost like a sweet fruity uh, I could taste the apple and uh, I could definitely taste the, um, the flintiness the um, kind of like a we'll just say a salad all right well, we'll just call this uh, iceberg lettuce um, maybe with a little romaine I'm dead serious on that uh, with a little minerality and uh, I still taste the apple and I want to say maybe peach or something that's making it kind of Swedish so great with the, the foods I had mentioned and chilled great by itself sitting on the back porch on a nice warm night so I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you give it a shot and from Hillbilly Wine 101 I would like to uh, say cheers everybody